Hi everyone and welcome back to the Take A Pause channel. My name is Charlotte and today I'm going to be talking you through buying an iPhone second hand. Hi. I can never get an intro. I'm going to be talking you through buying an iPhone or a phone second hand through the Amazon Renewed and I'm also going to be reviewing a phone case that I got that came recommended from Amazon as well. So I am very excited. My iPhone SE, the screen went funny because, and let's face it, it's completely my fault. I didn't put a case on it and I didn't put a screen protector on it and I dropped it and I dropped it several times and it was fine. And then I dropped it and it wasn't fine. I got myself an iPhone 8. Um, I like the iPhone 8 and I decided I wanted to get one second hand. So this cost me £269.99 and it was through the Amazon Renewed service. So it's not official Apple technicians that double check the phone, but they are, from what I've read online, um, you know, good at their jobs and they do a good job. And the provider had a good rating on the Amazon website, but I also wanted to do this review in addition to leaving an Amazon review, just so that you know what to expect when ordering a Amazon renewed phone. So with the iPhone 8, I also had to order the adapter for the earphones and that itself was eight pounds and that works fine. And then with the phone, you get a wire and a charging plug. So you don't get any earphones with the plug like you usually would buying brand new. The phone itself is, it looks great. There's literally hardly any scratches. In fact, I don't think there's any that I can see. There's a couple of scuffs, like marks, but really, it's, it's fine. I'm really happy with this. Like, I, I've never ever bought a second-hand phone before and I was very nervous about doing so because it's a lot of money to spend on something that someone else has used before. The screen resolution is great. The button, the home button works fine. Um, and it was a completely reset phone when I got it, so it was completely empty. I really do like it. But I am not going to make the same mistake that I did with my other phone. And so, I have bought a phone case. So this is a premium tempered glass stylish case. Right, I haven't opened this yet. I very riskily started using the phone yesterday without the phone case, but I didn't take it out of the house. Because I really wanted to give you guys a first impression of this phone case. This phone case was $8.99 and the reason I wanted it was because it's shockproof. Because that was the issue that I had with my last phone when it dropped on the floor. The entire phone took the shock and the screen was damaged. Inside we have some verbal communication. Written communication. So it does come with a screen protector. I'm always nervous about putting these on. Whether or not I do this on camera is another story, but we'll see. Comes in a just a little plastic packaging. So I think we've got some cleaning wipes here for making sure that my screen doesn't have any dust on it. And then these here. Oh, I get two. So I've got two screen protectors, which is really good actually, because usually you just get one. And then this is the plastic shockproof case, and I can tell it's shockproof because it's like got a spongy feel to it. I'll have to take it out of the case when I put my um, screen protectors on, just so that I'm putting them on right. But let's just have a look at how well this fits in, because this is designed for the new iPhone SE, the iPhone 7 and the iPhone 8. So I assume they are all the same shape. This is the iPhone 8. Yep, it just fits into it. It's not aesthetic, it's not like, you know, flamingos and palm plants on the back. Um, or like the, the selfie ones where you've got the big chunky thing hanging out the back so that you can hang it on your fingers and you don't drop it. But it is functional. You know, shockproof, 
shock proof this is what I need I, have, I drop stuff all the time so shock proof is where it's at um, I will say as well uh, the Amazon renewed guarantees that the phones come with at least 80% battery function which is good because my old SE the battery was definitely going on it but I have had this on and I didn't fully charge it when I first charged it up yesterday I turned it off when I went to bed and then turned it on again this morning and I've got half battery and I've been playing with it today so <laughs> I'm like a kid I've been playing with it I was on TikTok a lot last night. So I'm impressed with the battery so far. The camera is also much better than the iPhone, the old iPhone SE. Um, I'm, just, I'm just really happy with it. I was very, very nervous about getting a dodgy phone for an expensive price. And actually this phone is like new. So I would recommend looking into the iPhone renewed if it's something that Apple, Amazon renewed if it's something that you are looking to do because we don't always need brand new phones my friend Ariel get the margarita she is a very pro environment and I do try to be but I'm definitely not as good as her and she very rarely buys things brand new her phones have always been secondhand because there are people who do want the newest and latest of everything so when the new iPhone comes out they'll just trade in their old one. And they generally keep their things nice as well because they know that that's what they're going to do. Let's get a screen protector on and see how protected this phone can be. Oh, Hi, are you comfy there? Okay, so inside these yellow packets, I've got uh, a bit like a sunglasses wipe, a screen wipe, and an alcohol prep pad. So, should I dust it and then use the alcohol thing? Oh, there it goes. That was so stupid. It's okay, it's on carpet. So we've got like a little wet wipe. And then dry it with this. That looks pretty clean to me. I'm really bad at putting screen protectors on, which is probably why I avoided doing it with my last phone. This makes me so nervous. I basically hovered the screen over the top of the phone and just kind of dropped it and then pressed it and it's like sorting out the air bubbles itself, kind of. Yeah, that's... I'm happy with that. I did a good job. The phone is also supposed to be unlocked. Um, I have yet to change my SIM card over from my old phone. Um, I'm just a bit like slow at getting around to these things, but if it's unlocked, then it should transfer absolutely fine. But yeah, I just, I guess I just wanted to share this experience with you because I just want to say, if you've never bought a secondhand phone before, don't be nervous about trying it. I did look at doing it privately through like Gumtree or, you know, people that are selling their, their spare phones online. However, you don't get the service of someone looking at it, if that makes sense. Like, I've had a technical professional look at this phone and check that it is worth the money and worth buying. So that gives me a certain peace of mind. Although I do know people who just buy secondhand phones from private sellers. If you're thinking of getting a new phone but you don't want to buy brand new, consider going secondhand and consider Amazon renewed. This is not an ad, this is not sponsored or anything, it's just the service that I decided to use. But there are, there are also other websites that you can look at and the prices are pretty much the same. So I think there's a website called Music Magpie that sells um, secondhand phones. I'll link it below, I can't remember. But I'll also link the Amazon renewed link as well. And I'll also leave the link for this phone case and screen protector in case you do decide you want to try it. It's very simple, it's very basic, but it's clean. It's just see-through. I just want something basic. And it was $8.99 and I am happy with it. Like if this is gonna save my screen, <laughs> I am happy with it. Let me know if you have bought a second hand phone before and how you went about it. Did you go private? Did you use a service to get this second hand phone? Let me know, I want to hear 
your experiences too. That's it from me. Always remember to take care and take a pause and I will see you in the next video. Bye.